Hi, I'm John Mickman, President of Mickman Brothers. We're here today talking about Creeping Charlie, the blight of suburban homeowners. Uh, for years, all of us have been fighting Creeping Charlie in, in my neighborhood. And um, 20 years ago, it was really difficult to control, but now there is a way to control it. And it's something that needs to be controlled or it can take over an entire lawn area. Um, here's what Creeping Charlie looks like. You see it's a broadleaf weed that will start in within the grass and it's extremely invasive. It um, propagates by rhizomes that go underneath the, the uh, soil and, it's, and it starts another plant, another plant, another plant and it webs out through an entire area left uncontrolled. It can take over an entire lawn area like this. This is something you don't want to have in your lawn and your neighbors don't want your lawn to look like this either. But as I say, it can be controlled. There's a number of, of different types of weed-free zone. This product right here. Um, this controls a number of broadleaf weeds, and one of them is Creeping Charlie. Uh, there's a couple different ways that you can purchase it. We have it at the garden center. Uh, this one is uh, for use in a small area. If you have a small lawn with just a little bit of a problem, you can use uh, this type of weed-free zone. Just a matter of, of spraying it on the on the Creeping Charlie and after about two days you'll see it wilting and about a week later it'll be toasted. If you have a larger area you can use this type of applicator here that can attach to your hose and it's all pre-calibrated so you just turn it, connect your hose and turn it to on and spray the area that needs to have the application done. Easy to do. If you have a larger area um, there are some concentrates, and we have them in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. I always get this large size um, because, as I say, you can control it, but it doesn't seem to ever really go away. So one of these lasts me for a year, year and a half, depending on, on the season. And, and this year, it's, it's really kind of a bad spring for it. It's been wet, it's been um, warm, and Creeping Charlie really seems to be spreading readily. So. Um, this is what uh, I use in my yard. To use it in this type of a sprayer, I um, simply take off the top here, and you need four tablespoons per gallon of water. I've got my measuring cup already pre-measured pre for my gallon and a half sprayer. So I put, around, put this creeping Charlie control weed free zone in here. I dump it in this pump tank. When I fill it up with water, I really hit the juice so it kind of mixes it up as it's going. Shake it up a little bit like this and fill it up to the gallon and a half mark or whatever size pump spear you actually have. And I usually take the wand and kind of mix it up a little bit like this. Put the lid back on while trying not to cross thread it. Pump this up. You don't need a whole lot of pressure, but uh, you definitely need, need some. More than that, usually. And then you just spray spray it on the roundup just like this. That's done. You don't need a whole lot on it. Um, we've got a larger area. Don't worry about um, having it too thick on there. Um, just so it gets on the plant, it will control it. As I say, you'll see it wilting in about two days. After a week, it will be pretty much dead. But you probably will need more than one application. Um, um, in my yard, I can pretty much control it. But uh, probably twice a year, I, I apply, uh, apply weed free zone, once in the spring. And then, um, like September, early October is also another real good time. So that's it, weed free zone. We've got it in the garden center. Uh, good luck controlling your broadleaf weeds, especially Creeping Charlie. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.